Welcome back to Tactical Bass and Matt Allen here. What I want to talk about tonight is a topic that one of the readers of the website brought up. They were asking for some clarification. Uh, what it is is an explanation of swim bait rates of fall, uh, commonly referred to as ROFs. As far as I know, that term was coined by Ken Huddleston, the owner of Huddleston Deluxe Swim Baits. Uh, I'm not positive, but as far as I know, that's who coined that term. What that is, is a reference to how fast a bait sinks through the water column. And it's very important to understand it because that way you know what sort of baits you're buying. You know, there really aren't a lot of bad baits on the market. There are some, but for the most part, most baits work pretty well if you understand what they're for and you use them in the right situation. So a simple understanding of rates of fall, how they work, and what the different rates are for will help you buy the right baits for the type of fishing that, that you're wanting to do. So we'll start with the Huddleston because they're who originated the idea. They come in four rates of fall in the 8 inch. Some of the other size baits don't have as many different options, but what they are is an RF Zero. What that is is a floating bait. And it's very important to understand with these ROFs. There's a 0, a 5, a 12, and a 16. A lot of people misunderstand that. And they think what that means is if I'm, if I'm fishing at 5 feet deep, I need an ROF 5. If I'm going to be 10 or 12 feet deep, I need an ROF 12. It doesn't mean that the bait, the bait is going to sink down to 5 feet and then stop. What this system is based on an ROF 5 will sink 5 feet every 10 seconds. An ROF 12, 12 feet every 10 seconds, and so on. The 16, 16 feet every 10 seconds. So that's how that works. Uh, you know, according to that, you can judge how deep in the water column your bait is sinking if you're out fishing in deep water. Um, so the ROF 0, obviously, 0 feet every 10 seconds, it's a floater. Those are the different rates of fall. Now, you've got to understand that if you're fishing 20 to 30 feet deep, that doesn't automatically mean you want an ROF 16. This particular bait, this is an ROF 12. It's been chewed up a few times. I don't know if you can see all the teeth mark on, on that bait, but uh, what you've got to understand is fishing at deeper depths, you choose a bait according to how you want to fish. Because an ROF 16, has more lead in it. It's heavier. So it's going to want to naturally dig into the bottom harder as it's coming along. An ROF 12 will glide across the bottom a little bit better. An ROF 5 will tend to just sort of bump its way along and not really stick in the rocks. So depending on how, um, how tough the cover is you're fishing around, fishing one of the lighter baits might be a better option even in deeper water. It just takes more patience to wait for it to get down there. So hopefully that helps a little bit. Now this system has been adapted or adopted rather by a lot of other companies. Um, they have different rates of fall and I don't know exactly what they are. Like the, the bait smiths typically come in a slow sink and a fast sink. Uh, I don't even want to misquote what those rate of falls are, but it's the same thing. It depends on if you really want to get down and dig in the bottom, or if you just want to bump along the bottom, or if you want to fish higher up in the water column at slow speeds or high speeds. Because if you're fishing five feet deep, but you want to fish a bait really fast and you don't want it to roll over, one of those heavier sinking baits is still a better option, even in that shallow water. Now, where it starts getting a little bit tricky, is when you get into some of the the different companies that are just reproducing baits. This bait looks a lot like a Huddleston, similar tail, similar shape, but it's made by another company from another country, and basically what it is is a cheap reproduction. Even with these, there's nothing wrong with these baits if you know what you're using them for. See, the difference when you buy one of these compared to one of these is how they're constructed. Uh, the Huddleston uses a lead and foam harness. The bait is balanced. So as this one, this is an ROF 12, as it sinks in the water column, it's actually going to swim down and look really good. This one is going to flop onto its side. There's nothing in here but a bunch of lead. There's no foam to balance the bait. It's going to just shoot to the bottom on its side. It's probably an ROF, if I had to guess, 25 plus. 
I mean, it sinks really fast. When it hits the bottom, it's going to lay on its side because it's unbalanced. Whereas a Huddleston will hit the bottom and sit flat, just like a Batesmith or some of these other companies. The baits are really well balanced. They're going to sit there. So if you want to fish slow, you need to spend the money and get the right baits. If you're going to be fishing fast, middle of the water column, shallow water, not really letting the bait hit the bottom, you know, sometimes you can get away with these other baits, save yourself some money. I know that's really not a popular topic, but that's the truth. So you need to understand what you need the baits to do for you so that you can choose the right bait. Very, very simple. So I hope this helps explain. Um, again, it's, it's all about choosing the right bait. It's not about whether you're fishing shallow, you use a slow sink, deep, you use a fast, a fast sink. You know, sometimes you mix that up depending on if you want to be fishing really fast or really slow. So just keep that in mind the next time you order some swim baits. I hope this helps. Have a great night.